We do need to know in order to solve this question that there are 12 inches in a foot, but luckily the GMAT actually tells us that at the end of the question, so no need to memorize that. Now we're told that each inch translates into 15 feet in the real world, so what does that mean for one and a third inches? We, we have one inch by one and a third. Well, one and a third is like four thirds. So four thirds of an inch is like four thirds of 15 feet in the real world. And four thirds of 15 is 20. So in the real world, we have 15 by 20. That's 300 square feet. And the question wants to know how many of these tiles would we need in order to cover 300 square feet. Now, each tile is six inch by six inch. So in feet, that would be half a foot by half a foot. Multiplied together, that's one quarter feet squared. So how many one quarter feet squared tiles would we need in order to cover 300 square feet? Well, a quarter fits four times into one unit and one unit fits 300 times in 300. So four times 300, that's 1200. Looking at the answer choices, it looks like we're good with answer choice E. If you found this video useful, go to quantreasoning.com for a lot more where that came from. You should also click that like button and let me know in the comments below what you'd like me to make future videos about. And of course, if you haven't yet subscribed, go ahead and do that and click that bell below so you get notified about future videos. See you next time.